Let's demonstrate the power of cloud filter in Blender by making this chair really quickly and easily. So let's do it. Let's start with the default scene and this time we will not delete the default cube. Actually, what I like to do is to go to the face edit view and select these two faces, press X and delete them and then press A, select everything, right click and subdivide. By the way, here you can see what I'm pressing on my keyboard and also my mouse gestures. And this is a machine tool plugin that I'm using. I really like it. So uh, yeah, you don't need to use it. You can just press tab and just go here between faces, vertices and edges, or just press one, two or three on a keyboard and just switch between them. Right now that we cover that, let's go back here. So we subdivided this and I want to select everything from left side X and delete faces. Why? Because I want to use a mirror modifier to mirror this to make everything symmetrical and much easier. So let's go here to search, search mirror, right like that. I want to mirror on X axis and I want a clipping and this is it. Now, whenever I go to, for example, edge and I want to move this edge by pressing G, I will move both sides. You can see here really clearly that I'm moving that. Perfect. Now I want to go back to the faces and I want to delete these two faces by pressing X and faces. And the idea is to create the basic shape of the chair that we will later improve it. So basic shape will be something like, I want go to the edge view, this edge, press three to go to the side view, G and move it on Y. So like that, you're seeing this. Okay, then go with this edge, again, three on a keyboard, G and move it on, move it on Y axis right there. So we have a little bit tilted this this part of the chair i don't know what is the english word for that mm, i don't know but if you know let me know down there in the comments so thanks for that in the front okay now what i like to do i like to select these two edges and g and x and move it on x axis right there and also this is too high for my taste so i will select all three edges g and z and move it down so something like this maybe a little bit up Something like this looks pretty decent. Also, we can maybe go to the vertices, select this one and G, X and move it a little bit inside. And this looks cool. Also, we can select both of these and G, Y and move it a little bit back. Let's go to the this view and see. Yeah, maybe like that also. If you go back to the edge and select this edge, maybe I move it a little bit too much. So something like this. Perfect. This is a basic uh, shape of the chair. So now what I like to do is to go to the object mode, press control two to add the subdivision surface modifier. Otherwise you can go to add modifier sub subdivision surface, all right, and go with level viewports of two. Control 2 or Command 2 on a Mac is just a shortcut to do the same thing without the struggle. All right, this is how it looks. Now we want to add some kind of a thickness to it. So basically I will go with Solidify modifier. All right, it's right there. I want even thickness and I want to boost this and offset actually to one. And this is pretty cool. It's up to your taste, whatever you want. These numbers are totally irrelevant and depends on the size of your object, etc. So this is it. Something like that. I can go right click and shade smooth if I want to have something like that. And this looks really cool. Now we can apply everything. Go to the mirror. Make sure that we are in object mode. We are mirror control A, then again, control A, or you can go right here and apply control A. You can see the shortcut. And now go back to, let's go to the edges. Let's see, this is how it looks. Perfect. We can go to the vertices. And what I like to do, I like to select few vertices. So I want to select this one, press and hold, hold shift, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And you will see, I will use this to create these indents or holes in the material of the chair. You will see what I mean at the end. You saw that actually at the beginning, how the chair looks. So now that I selected this, I will go press shift control B to bevel this a little bit. I don't want to bevel too much. So something like, like this is cool. You can scroll with the wheel and add more of these edges, but I don't want, I just want like, 
let's see, like, like this, I think it's okay. Then go back to the edges and select with shift, holding shift, this edge, this edge, this edge. So basically like an X or cross around all these buttons to say, okay. And when you're doing this for yourself, you can experiment and do however you want. I want here to select a little bit more to have a almost the same distance, but also this one I want to select all the way to here by pressing shift control and just select it here. I can also select it here, but mm, let's leave it like that. Also, I want this and this, so I'm holding shift and control. So click with the shift, shift control, click with the shift, shift control, click with the shift, shift control right there. And also here, shift, shift control right there. Perfect. Now we selected all these edges. I want to bevel them, control B and just a little bit, a little bit like, like this is okay. This is perfect. Maybe I think it's okay. We will see. And now I will go without deselecting anything here. I will just go to object mode. Perfect. And I will go with the control two to add the subdivision with level of two, or as I already said, you can go right here and search for subdivision surface and add two viewport modifiers and apply. So apply. And this is it. This is our basic shape of the chair. Now the magic begins. Now we want to go from a layout to a sculpting mode. And here we want to do a few changes. First of all, Remember that if you go to edit view again, we have this selected. This is now subdivided and a lot of polygons, etc. but this is what we need. And we want, to, so you can see all these faces are selected. We want to go to the sculpting and go to face sets and set uh, from edit mode selection. So fa face set from edit mode selection. And this is what we have. This is what we need. Now we need to go all the way down and find this cloud filter and we will use this. Let me show you how this works. We can go here to the settings and instead of gravity, we will go with inflate. What the gravity does is basically pull everything down or up, but we don't want that. We want to use inflate and this will inflate everything like this. See, looks crazy. Yeah, I know if you go with click and go to the right, you will get this. If you click and go to the left, you will have opposite. So you can play with this. It's pretty sensitive. So make sure that um, you move the mouse slowly, but you can see these, these uh, selections of the faces are not doing anything. That's because we need to set here, use face sets. All right. And now let's see if you move to the right, we have these holes. Perfect. We want that. But let me show you a really cool trick. If you press on these face and click, move the mouse to the right, you will make some indents here and then here and here. And with this combination, you can make it a little bit better right there. Also another cool trick that I like to do. Let me show you before do anything. I want to shrink the selection a little bit. So I will go right here to this edit face set and just click on the empty space practically here once, maybe twice now, undo it. So once this is cool, then let's go back to the cloud filter and on the face, a little bit to the left, then a little bit to the right. Maybe this is too much, a little bit to the right like that. Then what I like to do, go again here to face, to edit face sets, click here, and I just have these buttons basically. And then again, here on the buttons, a little bit to the left and here a little bit to the right. And when you're satisfied with the result, you can stop. By the way, let me show you what happens if we do it too much. We can make a balloon, we can make a pillow, we can make, I don't know what this is, but <laughs> it's crazy and we can go over and over with this and have fun. So I like this version, okay. And this is already cool. This is it. We are practically done with this. Now, if we go back to the layout, we have this, we can add lights, we can add the materials, we can add a stand for the chair, however we want, however 
uh, stand of the chair you want to design. I will show you really quickly what I like to do here. Shift S and go with cursor to world, world origin. Then I will go with Shift A and I will go with something simple, maybe cylinder. S to scale it down like this. Press 1 to go to the front view. G, Z and move it right there. Perfect. And then I will go and go to the face edit, click here, go to the front view and just move it G, Z, oops, G, Z and move it down something like, like this and then E to extrude and S to scale it, but not like that. E to extrude, right? Then S to scale it like, like this. Then G and Z move it to Z to make some kind of this shape. And then again, E to extrude it and move it down and I to inset here a little bit. And this looks cool. Maybe we can maybe we can go to the edges and select this edge and actually to the face it's easier. By holding Alt, select the whole loop of faces and then S and scale it a little bit more. Let's see, not bad. And also what I like to do is to go to the forward slash to isolation mode and go to the face, this face. I want to move it a little bit down, maybe like that. And then I to inset it a little bit and have something like that. Go back with forward slash and move this a little bit up. I think this looks cool. Maybe to move it a little bit, let's see. Select this, go to the top view and just move it a little bit back on the Y axis. So something like, like this, right? Let's go to the side view, mm, pretty decent, maybe a little bit front, pretty decent. And we can subdivide this, control two, Perfect and go to the face edit view and oops control R and add one loop cut here one loop cut there and I will leave it like that but with that difference that I will add three shades mode three of level of subdivisions and this is it now we can add few materials so by the way you can download this finished model on my patreon the link is down there in the description so if you up to it go there and uh, there are plenty other models that you can download and from every almost every tutorial I'm leaving the models there. So I want to go to the render view. I want to switch from EV to cycles and from CPU to GPU compute. Perfect. This looks like that. And let's do something simple not to waste your time too much. Uh, let's add a new material, maybe something oh, for this, maybe something, 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 something darker, metallic, and also roughness almost all the way down and specular a little bit up. We don't see it too much because of the light. So basically what I like to do is to add HDR lighting. So go here, color, environment texture, and open my HDR here and go with some small studio. This is how this looks. It's a small studio, as you can see, with all those lights. Perfect. Then go to the chair and again, we can add some kind of material here to the chair. Maybe, maybe some cool color, orange or something like that. And maybe darker tone, like leather. Hmm? Not bad. And maybe we can, we can go with roughness a little bit. Um, no. Maybe like that and yeah, we can add the leather texture and play with that. If you're up to that, let me know down there in the comments and I will show you how to make some cool leather texture. But for now, let's finish with this. Let me show you how this looks. Pretty decent chair. I really like it. And now using the techniques from this tutorial, you can create not just this type of chair, but you can create different type of furnitures and even a lot of other objects. Just be creative and apply these techniques to anything that you want. Experiment, have fun, and you will see the limitation is only your imagination. Right, guys, if you want to know how to unwrap the models in order to apply perfect textures, check out this video and see you there. Bye-bye.